Good morning, YouTube. Welcome back to another daily scuttlebutt with Ivy's family factotum. I'm Anson. It is Wednesday, semi early. Well, not too too early. Uh, I always try to get out here around the same time. Uh, obviously, in the winter time, you know, it's it's because I'm letting it try to warm up some and and such and. You know, getting out here. Obviously, I can always put on a thicker jacket, right? But uh, I, I don't like doing that. So <laughs> um, I'm going to go ahead and, and just keep doing the, the whole hoodie thing. Come out and do what I need to do. So uh, as you see, I'm out here. I'm actually in front of my little tent. Out here with the, the chop saw working on a project. So I'll give you a little sneak peek. <laughs> Yeah, I don't don't know what it goes to, but hopefully I'll have that done. Well, I'm trying to be done because I got two welding projects, right? And I'm not a welder, so I go slow. Um, one of them already being the bucket to Lil Mac that you guys have already seen. And if you haven't already seen it, go over to the main channel. There's a few videos back, but... I, I still have one one more little spot that that needs to be finished uh, to finish that repair. That way, I can get the bucket back onto Lil Mac. And then, because it's uh, a whole lot of work that still needs to be done with the tractor, and it's it's been kind of waiting on that repair. Uh, do got the tire fixed. Uh, Dad was able to get the the tire back onto the rim, the the rear tire. And those are a little harder, so. Um, he ended up actually taking the whole thing off the tractor uh, just to make the, the repair easier, I guess. Um, but that that's back on because right now we don't have an air compressor. Well, I do, but I don't. Okay, so, uh, and what I mean by that is I do have a friend of the family up in Missouri that's gifting us an air compressor already gifted us the air compressor but it's still in missouri so um we don't have it here so the only thing i have is it's like a little ammo can it's a nine millimeter ammo can and i took it was from an automotive air compressor one that you get from like automotive store to keep in your car right it, it's it's not the bee's knees right there's not a whole lot to it but the whole exterior shell of that compressor uh, ended up breaking and cracking because it's plastic, right? So I took out all the guts of that thing and I put it into my ammo can. And now I use that. Well, that's the really the only air compressor. I mean, Dad's got one too, like a little automotive one. But it's not like a, a big high pressure type air compressor, right? Thing th Things that you kind of need to, to help setting a bead on a tire or or things like that right anything over 100 psi um to to kind of help you pop that tire into place but um we we will get that hopefully this this uh christmas uh, we're gonna go up to my mom's and grandma's and during that time uh, we're gonna try to pick up some of that stuff um that's already been you know, given to us and we're going to bring it back because it's uh, either it didn't make it into the trailer or the trailer was already, you know, loaded down with the the weight that it can carry, which I think it could have carried a little bit more, but that's just me. You can probably hear bells in the background. That's <laughs> beasties out here running around. You can see if you can catch her. She's over there under the truck. If you can see a black cat in the shadow. <laughs> and then you can probably also see uh, behind me. The playhouse made it here on time. Uh, actually, they were quite early because uh, I was having some, some folks come over. Um, not necessarily to help with the installing, but we were going to move some stuff around. Uh, furniture wise, you know, to kind of put in there, but we're putting a hold on that because the Make-A-Wish Foundation had reached out to us, and we talked about this a little bit too on our live last night, uh, 
that they had reached out to us that they still have more work that's going to happen. So, um, so right now we're not doing anything with that, right? Um, we're not going to put anything inside. We're, we're not going to do anything. But, yeah, it's just the one guy that, that came here, used his truck, didn't even have to use the dolly uh, for anything. I keep seeing something in my peripheral. But um, he just used the the trailer. So it's, it's a semi-truck, but it's kind of like a, a, a shorter semi-truck. And then the trailer that's on there, it, it can move up, down, left, right, extend out, extend, like boom out, boom in. Crazy. So he, he was able, because I don't know if you can really tell. So this area right here. Um, where we park like with my truck and stuff right so this whole area and where the truck is it's not very big it, it's not you're not able to get turned around very easily you know and, and for the folks that have come here to visit you know within the community they know that this area isn't the greatest to be getting in and out of right so um even even Mike from Dogman tried backing in over here behind where the camera is because that's normally what I do and go out, but his truck couldn't make that turn, uh, so I, he actually had to go up here by the RV and and do like a, a three point turn uh, just get turned around. But this guy came in here with a semi and a trailer and basically turned that thing on a dime, like right here, because of how that trailer is able to to move itself around. Crazy. Um, so I got. All that's coming out on the video today, um, because he, like I said, he used only the trailer to put that in place of where it goes by moving it around and pushing it and, and all those things. Crazy. Even lifting it to um, to balance it out, he lifted the front of the the shed with the trailer to be able to put the blocks under there, and then um, obviously for the back he had like a little hand jack. That he can jack it up and put the blocks on uh, that way, but wow, super impressed, uh, super impressed. Um, the the driver was very very good, and it's actually this was I think his sixth I think he said a sixth one that he's delivered for Make a Wish Foundation. So um, I think we were the little a uh, little bit of the uh, the furthest away um, compared to the others, but he was still happy to do it because. Um, he said that the scenery, the, the driving and everything coming here was just beautiful. Um, he did get a little scared though uh, on some portions because I guess there was goats on the side of the road. And he didn't want a goat jumping out in front of his truck. <laughs> but I mean that's to be, you know, uh, I, I wouldn't want that to happen either. Because I, I do know that here on our road uh, there's people with goats and sometimes they will jump out in front of you and you got to slam on your brakes. So I understand. I understand, but <laughs> yeah, we still appreciate, you know, those, uh, that were able to come out and for the, that delivery of the playhouse, it's greatly appreciated. And, uh, that will come out now along with community, um, something that's been kind of weighing on me for quite a while that I want to go ahead and like I've said, I, I do keep it, you know, pretty real around here of whatever is on my mind is, or how I feel. And if I'm wrong, leave a comment down below. Tell me I'm wrong. So for us, right, we love the community that we are part of, you know, our local community, a little bit, not so local community, you know, the, the YouTube community. Um, but, I kind of feel that 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 same love isn't reciprocated to everybody. Um, I know that you know there's going to be because sometimes it, it almost feels like a, a high school, you know, to where it's kind of like a popularity contest uh, type thing. And I actually remember I'm not going to say who it was, but it was, and this has been weighing on me since. The gathering at Lake Ten Killer in Oklahoma, so it, it's been a hot minute, right? That 
one of one of the people or one of the persons that was there that I had approached, and I've I've known the person for a while. Um, whenever I I approached them, say, "Hey, what, how's it going, man?" And really, the cat trying to jump up on my stuff fell up, fell down onto her back. I thought cats are supposed to always land on their feet. But anyway, um, I remember approaching this person and, you know, say, hey, how's it going? Yada, yada. And I don't, I don't remember the entire conversation. I don't remember every single word verbatim, right? But I do remember uh, along the lines of, you know, keep, keep doing what you're doing and at some point you'll be part of the circle or you'll be part of the community. Right. And that, that kind of, I didn't say anything at, at the time. Right. But it still, it kind of took me back because, you know, at, at that point, at that point, I thought I was already there. Right. I thought I was already at that junction of being within the community and whenever that person told me that um it, it threw me back and and i have noticed too that you know there'll there'll be get-togethers that you know we haven't been invited to for whatever reason or another i don't know um communications right because obviously I, I talk to people all the time within the community is it every single day no do people reach out to us sometimes? Yes. Uh, do I reach out to them a lot of times? Yes. Um, but ever ever since that day, and I, those words came out of that person's mouth, it just it it really took me back. And you know, kind of ever since then, going forward, you know, I, I'm always in my own head or or whatever it is, you know, looking it's like well are we really not part of the community? You know, are, are we being judged or are we being looked at like that? Um, or stepping on someone's toe, you know, cause I, I've even seen, um, to where we, we chose like our live for Tuesdays based off of our schedule that, and this was, we still needed hours, right? This was the time we still needed hours. So we decided to go ahead and start doing lives to get to our hours so we can get monetized. And we chose a day and time that worked best for us at the time. And it's still that time because of the schedule with our girls for school, with things that they have going on. And then with Gladys's work schedule, and, and some of those things, right? So we, we chose what was good for us. And I know that it's also the same time as someone else within our community. And I watch their lives. I will go after the fact and I watch, I support their channel, right? And, and I know that a majority of the, the folks, you know, and I'm not trying to be you know, competition that, that has nothing to do with it, right? I'm not trying to say, hey, if you like us better, come watch us. It nothing to do with that, right? So all, all we did is chose, because I even wanted to change our live time because the other channel that was live for that time slot, right? Because it's obviously, you know, if you're within a local community or even not so local, but the the group of people that you know our community, you're not trying to step on each other's toes to the best of your ability, right? And we're not trying to do that. But for the live part, we had to do what worked for us and then also be able to get the numbers that we needed, right, to, to get our channel monetized. So, um, but yes, we, we do want to change the, the day and time 
of, of our life at some point once and like i said it's probably gonna even happen after the new year uh once we get back from uh the christmas stuff because gladys will be home full time a lot of the the things that we need to take care of you know with the girls is coming to an end so um you know whenever it comes to you know like band or choir or, or all these different things you know to where it requires us going someplace or having to go pick you know up the the kids late at night or or just you know things like that right so obviously we had to do what worked for us but i digress whenever it comes to that if if you think that you know that what i'm saying is wrong or that you know uh, it's just that 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 gut feeling right but is and it's not even necessarily gut feeling because the words were spoke to my face uh from that time and and it's you know the proof's in the pudding right <laughs> the the proof is in the pudding that you kind of see you know what what's going on around you and you know, you, you can't kind of you can't hide that so um, I don't know. We're going to continue doing what we do. We're still enjoying our journey one day at a time. We're still going to build a house. We're still going to build some cabins. Still going to build a whole bunch of things. And we still want everyone to follow the journey. So it's uh, greatly appreciated. But I'm going to go ahead and leave you at that. Leave us a comment down below what you think. And last but not least, always thank a veteran at every chance you get. Not only on Veterans Day, well, I'll see you on the next one. Later, y'all.